Spain and Gibraltar have been at loggerheads for decades over who has jurisdiction of the water surrounding the rock. Gibraltar abides by the 1982 United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea. The convention defines territorial waters as being 12 nautical miles from the coast, although Gibraltar only claims three. On the other hand, Spain believes no waters outside the Gibraltar harbour were ceded to the British as part of the Treaty of Utrecht. Thus, while Gibraltar has banned commercial fishing from its waters, Spain considers the area to be its own, and so fishermen with Spanish licences continue to flout Gibraltar law. The argument has ebbed and flowed for years. It's flared up again as locals have recently captured more images of a Spanish commercial fishing boat seemingly carrying out its activities undisturbed. In another video, an RGP vessel appears to pass by a Spanish vessel without stopping. Number 6 says the Department of the Environment has recently chased away unlicensed octopus fishermen and have approached other vessels, including some carrying out commercial fishing. However, some have had repairs carried out and have been unavailable at times. In answer to GBC questions, the RGP says it polices British Gibraltar territorial waters and applies the laws of Gibraltar, making operational decisions when offenders breach these. It says together with and in support of the Ministry for the Environment, it actively engages with Spanish fishermen when they are fishing in Gibraltar waters, adding this is done on a daily basis, with the RGP keeping open all its options as to how it deals with infractions of the law. The statement says the police does challenge when offences are detected and carries out executive action when it feels it's necessary to do so. Finally, with respect to the recent footage on social media, the RGP says it's unclear when this happened but confirms no police officers were in contact with any Spanish fishing vessels yesterday. Invariably, the issue carries deep political connotations and this is evidenced by the inclusion of fishing in two of the four Brexit memorandums of understanding. Under environmental matters, the agreement states there will be enhanced cooperation in the protection of the marine habitat in Gibraltar and the surrounding areas, adding a forum will be created for the discussion of fishing activities. And in the memorandum covering police cooperation, illegal fishing is listed among other criminal offences. The question is, will these two mentions in the Brexit documents help to de-escalate the long-standing tensions in Gibraltar waters? Or are the currents of this historic dispute over sovereignty just too strong?